from Council Bluffs, Abraham Lincoln. Have you heard of a guy named Jason? No, not the one from Friday the 13th, but he does wear a mask. And even if you don't know Jason, trust me, you know Jason. He's the one with that hair, you know. That hair, the car, the shoes, the pants. Jason's the worst. He's nicknamed the heartbreaker in three different schools. He's the one we all avoid, but girls still flock to him. He's the dove, and girls are the olive branch in his beak, but he won't look twice when he hands you to Noah. I strongly dislike Jason. Some may call it hate. And I know hate's a strong word, but these are strong feelings. He literally has millions of faces, and you can't tell which is which. I mean, I guess he was OK back in fifth grade, but it all went downhill when he stole the Kit Kat from the teacher and blamed it on Susie, innocent Susie, who could never hurt anyone. In sixth grade, girls flew to him like flies to a pig's head on a stick. In seventh, he was just a donkey, and I mean the donkey of a donkey. Do you know how bad you have to be to be that? I mean, did you hear what he did to Maria? Poor Maria, who could never hurt any, who could never hurt anyone. She was always so sweet and had her heads and head in the clouds. And he just got worse and worse as the grades went on. And we won't talk about what happened at homecoming. Jason puts the J in jerk. The Jason and gosh, I hate Jason. He must have set a stinking record for the hearts he broke. <laughs> The whole reek of broken pomegranates. Hearts more delicate than china dishes and he threw them to the ground like paper plates. Still he managed to have a following. Everywhere he looked, there was Jason, a girl under his arm. A smile taped to his lips as he whispered, I love you. But the minute she left, the tape was ripped off to reveal the menacing grin he wore, his vile intentions disguised as well as fake plants in the zoo. And I tell you what, I'm so sick and tired of hearing about him. Every week it's something new. Jason bought me this, and it slowly changes into, I can't believe he did that to me. All my gal pals talk and complain about him. All, my girls, all the girls in SLAM talk about, write poems about him. If I have to hear one more thing about Jason, I swear to. And so you're probably wondering, why not just avoid Jason? Because he's the master of disguise. Sweet words laced with thorns and gosh, I think I've made my point. Look, we've all met a Jason. And if you've heard of the heartbreaker, be careful. I don't want to hear another darn poem about him. And if you haven't heard of Jason yet, keep your eyes peeled and your ears open so Jason can't lay his trap.